Well, hey everyone, it's Dragon Otaku here, and today we're acting to a new show from this season, and this is my third attempt at making this recording, so I'm not even going to attempt the Japanese title. It's In Another World With My Smartphone. <sighs> I butchered the language three times, and I am done. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start this off here in three, two, one. All right, TV Tokyo. We know we can't show anything then. Okay. <laughs> but your God, come on. <clears throat> Fair enough, right there. That's also true. Of course not. We wouldn't have a story then. Yeah, most people can't put it in practice like that, so good job there. Of course. <laughs> okay, that could be useful. <laughs> That's also really useful. So he's going to go to the other world and become a pimp. Is what I'm picking up from the uh, the OP. I want a pimp jacket like that. Hair member number two. Hair member number three. <laughs> Hair member number four. Maybe five if we count the stuffed animal. <laughs> Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I've lost track. <laughs> Obligatory trap hair member, maybe? <laughs> All right, I'm right. It's harem. One, two, three, four. I, well, whatever. I'll count them later. <laughs> Awakening and another world. All right, so he just got brought there directly.
<laughs> God calling. Also useful. Of course. That works. Yeah, I could see a tailor being really interested in the, the way those clothing are designed. <laughs> no, he's giving you money and an outfit change. I can't tell you how many times I played a D&D &D game where the inn or bar was called the Silver Moon. <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. I'll just say, how the hell are you going to deal with this shit? <laughs> Got this track for like two seconds. There's a big old, big old cat on my deck.
Probably. <laughs> Based on the pacing and the little mid card things. This just feels like it's going to be kind of like a feel good show with uh, com some comedic, comedic elements. Like nothing too serious going on. Yeah, you do. Okay. Well, you got some money, so, you know, you could probably buy a sword. Okay. <clears throat> I think they could have taken those guys by themselves. <laughs> Just saying. Holy sh <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> You're the mage, of course you know how to smell You're probably more intelligent
He'll have them all. God will set him up with that. It'll be all of them. <laughs> Probably a good idea. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> God set him up so you know he's going to have like no problems in this world whatsoever Yep. Just a bit.
He'll have something. Now the smartphone will come in handy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. <sighs> it's almost painful how good he is at everything. Seriously, I mean, it's like a slap in the face of every other uh, trapped in another world MC. <laughs> oh, man. And he's OP as fuck. Or he will be OP as fuck. He's probably already OP as fuck, though. But this, yeah, this feels like it's just gonna be a really comfy. I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong, but just the way it's flowing and stuff feels like this is gonna be a feel good show. If there is any, uh, Conflict will be resolved real easy. Then again, it's the first episode, so I could be completely wrong about that. All right, so to summarize the first episode, dude, dude dies, has his skills maxed out by God, as well as all his aptitudes, gets to take his smartphone, which lets him read Wikipedia and use Google. <laughs> and uh, obviously his luck's been jacked up, too. And uh, gets to incarnate in another world where it's all useful. God must feel really bad about killing him off. <sighs> I'll give it a couple more episodes. Ah. <sighs> oh. I am more of a fan of conflict in my shows than anything else, so if they start developing some conflict, I'll be, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of OP, having no issue type protagonists. 
Yeah, I like them to work for everything they get and struggle their asses off. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing wrong with the other either, though. Hmm. So, yeah. On the fence about it still, but, you know, I'll give it a couple more episodes. Alright. But, yeah, it's definitely not bad, though. It's, it's, it's comfy. It's comfy. You know? Alright, well, this is Drunk on Taco. I'm heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.